first of all, a little bit of us. Okay, just to say that we are not developers, we are organizing, we are organizers in PyBCN, but not really Python developers. I'm instrumentation engineer in CSIC, in Spanish Research Council. I'm working in marine technology, uh, but I use Python in everywhere I, I can. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I, I am Ignasi, I am an infrastructure engineer, I am working at devx.com. Uh, media site about NGO and international development. I'm more, com I'm coming more from the system administration part of the, of the thing. I like to write programs since I was a kid. So I'm kind of a wannabe developer, not, not very good, a little bit worse than, than a system administrator, but trying to balance both. By the way, if you ever come to visit Barcelona or something and you can check in pybcn.org about our activities or meetups or dojos or whatever. So if you are around, you can feel free to come and, and give a salute. So uh, we're gonna give a very introductory talk on what we have been doing for the last nine months, one year because we started with doing some dojos. Is there anyone who knows what the coding dojo is right now? Well, quite a few. Uh, we will start with a brief story of Pi Barcelona dojos, how we started doing them, how, what we have been doing a little bit. Then we will give a small introduction to what a coding dojo is and what related concepts are with it. We will do a small recap on the sessions we done, just choosing some of them, not all, because it could be quite long. Then we will take a look back on to see what things we learned doing dojos, about what you need to prepare, what things you need to be uh, aware of. And uh, then we will be talking about the dojo sessions we, we, are, we are gonna be running in, in, at the EuroPython this year. And we will give a very small set of ideas to start with your communities. Actually, it's a pair of points. Well, the Pi Barcelona Dojos started with, actually, we're not related at Pi, Pi Barcelona Group before. We started with a small group of system administrators, uh, people who was interested in to learn some programming stuff. And then we decided to start using Python because it looked like a very low barrier entry level uh, language, easy to learn and, and to start working with. And the big problem we had is that we did very, very infrequent sessions. We barely did one every two months. After having these sessions or during having these sessions in another conference, we were connecting with some Pybus and other members about what we were doing and they were quite interested in setting up these sessions for the whole Python Barcelona community. So with them, we started running these sessions monthly, in a three, determining the dates every three months and having different kinds of sessions. Because we, feel, we felt that there were, there were a lot of different skill levels into the, among the people that were kind of interested into having them. So we are gonna talk about what have passed for the last nine months. Oh. Well, for those who doesn't know, uh, coding doji is just a hands-on session. The first very important uh, target or goal of these sessions is to have fun with code colleagues and people with similar interests. The second is learn from others, because usually it comes that there is someone at, attending that says, yeah, I'm very new, but I don't know anything, or I barely use Python. But there are also other people that master some subjects on Python, or, or even on just the kind of audience we are proposing. And for the people who knows more about Python or master some subjects, it's to share the individual, the individual knowledge. This is, we, we get that because we try to use uh, several techniques that uh, I'm gonna explain later. Also, we use the coding dojos to practice new technical tools which we don't use to do them in our daily jobs. For example, testing or writing, uh, writing tests or doing TTD or such. And. Then, 
the related concepts more important to be aware of when you are attending or organizing a dojo is, are, are those of, the, of here. The first one is the kata. The kata is the trivial exercise we are gonna try, we're gonna state for the sessions, for the session to complete. It's trivial because it's usually not very difficult and it's trivial because it doesn't matter if we come to a solution. We're not trying to cure cancer or to find anything big. And it doesn't matter if uh, individually or within the team we, we form of, uh, we find a solution. What we are trying is to learn from what others are doing within the team or with other teams. We are gonna, we, we, usually we use paper ramming also because this is a very good technique especially when you, may, you use paper ramming with TV, for example, it can be kind of fun. Uh, also we do iterative development. So we, when we prepare the kata, we tend to have some preparation before in order to have the steps, the, iterat the, the iterations we are gonna have. So we can guide people attending. These iterations are done within a time box the structure. We use the Pomodoro technique, uh, which is just having 25 to 45 minutes to have every iteration. And, and well, yeah, we, we tend to change the times and it's kind of chaotic sometimes, but it's important to try to enforce this uh, technique. Also, we put a very strong emphasis into differentiating testing versus TDD. This doesn't mean that we need to write tests for everything. This doesn't mean that we use TDD in all the sessions. There are some sessions where we enforce much more TDD. There are some sessions where we only want to see some tests to check that everything works. And even we have some sessions that we are not even looking at the tests in case they are. And also, on each session, after all the, the iterations, we have uh, well, it should be small, usually it is not, retrospective session with all the attendants so people can explain what they, they like, what they don't like, what they learn, and what they are taking off from the session. So we can learn what we are doing good, what we are doing bad and we need to improve, or what we should be uh, taking care of. Sometimes it's very stupid, sometimes it's just the uh, format, the air, con the air conditioner of the room, or the kind of the quality of the projector or something like that. But sometimes people explain, yeah, this kind of problem was very nice, but we, we hadn't a statement before, or we hadn't a statement to check while we were coding. Things like that can be helpful to improve the, the sessions. So this is a small recap on three of the most cool or interesting sessions we had. Some months ago, we had the PyTest versus unit test uh, session. It was intended to be a hands-on on PyTest with comparing with the unit test version on the same kata, very simple and small. One of the big problems we had with PyTest on versus, uh, versus unit test session, it was that we didn't know so, we didn't had so much knowledge of PyTest. We just had the very introductory knowledge. So it was very hard to answer certain doubts that people get. We were trying to, when we just did that session, we were trying to provide more, uh, something more interesting for people with some experience that are not so interested into starting with TDD, but learning about what they can get from using other tools. And this, this was one of the, of the problems we had there. In the Serum Q and Python in a session, which was based on a Peter Hinge's workshop at uh, EuroPython 2014, last year, it was quite interesting. We had, I think, 18 people attending. It was quite mm, stressed, but it was very, very nice. The uh, feedback was very good. So we are quite happy. Maybe we should have some more time to learn more about Serum Q before. We used to be kind of the procrastinating people. And, and well, the feedback was very good. We, we had a lot of uh, people working with engineering, infrastructure engineering also, and, and so on. And yeah, sorry. Then we had another session with mocking to introduce the usage of the mock library, which uh, it's not really included, but it's very useful to 
to find out uh, to um, fake things happening around our code in the architecture. This session was kind of bad at least because it, we, we hadn't been very prepared. This was one of the first new kind of sessions we had. We went with a supposed kata that we invented, which we haven't tried. We will see later. This is one of the very first things you need to do if you want to organize those sessions. Okay, and a little bit of uh, a rhythm about what we have learned doing this, because mm, yeah, in the sessions we, we also learn about people who come and that. One, the first seems very elementary, but we, you have to practice your kata before to do to the other people. And usually we find, mm, we try to think what, what could be the different solution that people we are going to find just to guide the session to be, to, to be fun and to be fast and not to be boring, but by the people here. Um, you have, obviously, if you buy this session, you have to, to have a specific knowledge, but you don't have to be a master. You only have to have a main idea, and usually people who come to our, to our dojos, when we guide, usually the solution that they show are, are, are almost better than us, or have some points that we, we, all the people in the session learn something, yeah? Then, okay, if you introduce a new library, probably you have to take care to, to show the basics of your library. You have to take time to, all the people start with, an, when, with the same knowledge. And to guide a session is, is really important to have learning skills. Okay, to learn teaching skills and these kind of things. I think it's the most important to feel that, to feel, to make feel comfortable all, all the people in the room and, yeah, and then that it's useful, no? Okay, and then it's, uh, it's open to other programmers that come from other languages, but we, wa we, but we try to focus on Pythagonic solutions, of course. Okay, and a little bit about the sessions we are going to do in, in EuroPython. Okay, on Python sessions, we are going to focus, to explain a little bit baby steps and TDD how it works. Um, yeah, practice pair programming. I don't know if you ever program it in pairs, but I think it's, it's quite fun, not just to, to be three hours alone programming. Programming alone, okay, sorry. <laughs> and it's just, it's just a game, but programming, usually a pair uh, program the test and the other program the, the, the program, the, the code to solve, and then change the roles. And think it's, you, you learn how to do the test, how to program, and one of the important parts is, yeah, if you have a Mac and a PC, who, who manages this, this session? Which editor, which, and sometimes you learn new things sharing with your partner, even more than in the group. Okay, and the Saturday session is going to be a little bit complex, but okay, these two sessions are related to the typical algorithmic problems, is, are going to be classical algorithmic problems, okay? Just to practice TDD. Okay, Fridays is more focused on TDD, and Saturdays is just texting and in a more complex kata, and probably you are going to, if you come, you are going to practice some refactoring about the problem, okay? The seats are really, really limited because we're, we, our sessions in Barcelona are in a small group, and we, will, <laughs> we won't we want to be per, very personal in every group, know what it's doing, and we think that 20, 25 people in the room, it's, it's how to manage, okay. Then come soon, we are going to, to publish in Twitter or I don't know, in the way, we are going to, to make an event bright, to, you are going to sing in, sing in app. Um, okay, I think you are going to sing in app and I want to see you <laughs> in these sessions. Okay, a little bit about, um, if you are interested in Python Dojos, 
Uh, I think it's a good it's a good way to spice your community. I'm a Bayesian organizer and since two years ago about. And I feel that okay, you organize meetups and conference, but it's a little bit cold. Okay, people come, people sit here and, and go away. I think it's with PyDojos we have we have a, a community that you know what what is developing, what it's like a family now. We we do by dinners and these kind of things. I think it's it's a relationship more okay, more it's more warm. Okay. I think uh, if you are interested, if you want to ask us how to how to start the code in Dojo in your community or if you want some examples or some experience, if you want to share some experience with us, we are we are here all the week. And we recommend to read this this book about Coding Dojo's handbook by Emily Vange. And of course, you can contact us with using Twitter and, and in person here these days. Any question? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, about the katas, yeah. do you prepare it in advance or yeah. do you just go and you ask people what they want to do? And yeah, we know a lot about people who usually come. People repeat, <laughs> that's the important point. Uh, but yeah, we, we ask if people, uh, new libraries, if we want to try new libraries, we, we try different formats. Yeah, it depends on the people. For this for this reason, we, we think that uh, the feedback that we yeah. the, that we get at the sessions are very are really really important for us. Just to know that it's interesting or not, or what to change in the next session. Uh, about the about the kata preparation, it also depends how much time do you need. Because sometimes you can have a very complex kata and then you need like more than a week to prepare it. That doesn't mean that you need to be careful because if you prepare the kata during one week, you can easily have a kata is longer than the time you have for running the session. But if it's simple, you can you can have it in easily in 20, 30, one hour. More questions? I've got loads, actually. Uh, oh, okay. I oh. organized the, the London Pies and Code. Okay, you? yeah, I know. Yeah, we, we asked, actually, we mm. talked with someone, we, we talked with Rashid about that. Yes. And then we were consulting how you, what you were doing, because you are, you are not doing so much TV, right? I s yeah, I think we're doing quite differently, actually. How, how, how does yours work? You have uh, only two persons at the front, and everyone is looking? Or no. Is no, you mean, you mean like in a randori? The, yeah. the randori format is that some two people is working and the rest are, are looking. No, we have been thinking about trying out different kinds of, of sessions for the dojo. This is one of the ones we have been considered, but we never did one of those. Okay. What we did is to start with pairing people, mm -hmm. then commenting the kata, explaining what the details that the kata can have or what interesting things, and then with the people working in pairs, start working with that. If the kata is simple enough to run just one, in one iteration, then we try to enforce people to switch uh, the team so they can share with more people in the same session. If the kata is more complex, then we just stand with that and go on and preventing uh, complex interactions. Yeah, interaction. and usually then we, sh well, we, we aim the people to share the code and explain the code for yeah. how it works. Okay, okay, now how many iterations are you doing roughly? Like Three, four, four in the last of the case. Well, it depends. Okay. There's like she said before, there are, there's always master, there's always someone attending that masters much more than you. <laughs> so yeah. we had, for example, one guy with, with one kata, the guy just solved the first iteration, the second iteration, and the third iteration using the first one. So yeah, well. <laughs> yeah you cannot expect to have so this kind of You, you always wise have to think more, more stuff, more fun the, the time you, you have because of the people who is coming, yeah. Not to be bored. We try to enjoy all the people. <laughs> and, and we also started doing something this the, by the end of the year. It was we are we prepare the sessions every three months, every quarter. So we use we do, we use we did we do 
a very simple kata in the first month. In the second month, we, use, um, we do a more complex kata with less TDD or less test uh, focus. And then we have a third session with, I don't know, for example, Maybe 7Q. Yeah. Maybe a specific library, yeah. Can I ask more questions? Mm, sure, but the last one. <laughs> OK. <laughs> How many of you are coming every, um, every dojo? Well, it, it has been depending also on the lack of hostilities and so on. It's <laughs> very important, especially if the Barca football team is having a, a match. And we have to, we choose the dates in advance. Yeah, also. Really three months in advance and sometimes we don't know. But, but we used to be like 10, 15 people. Okay. And do you, do you provide beer and pizza or something like this? Well, we had some kind of things. Yeah, uh, cookies. <laughs> yeah. We used Sometimes to I cook like pizza, and yeah. these kind of things, yeah. Yeah, yeah but we're planning to talk with some local breweries to get beer and something. And, and who is paying for, for this then? Who? Who is paying for the cookies and the beers and, uh, and the location? Actually, <laughs> yeah, well, we, we, we are within the Pirate Summer Group, so everything comes together, actually. Okay, and is it free to attend? Uh, yes. Well, we have only the, we are publishing the event right with 25 seats. Because okay. much more people could be kind of difficult to manage. Indeed. Um, thank you very much. I mean, uh, yeah, um, we'll thank talk you. later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right For now, sure. there will be a coffee break, and we'll, be st and we'll start at quarter to five sharp. And uh, don't forget that you can rate this talk at the guideline, uh, guidebook, sorry. And that it, that's it. See you after the break. Thank you for coming. Thank you.